hello guys here is i have tcl 40 xl and you can see screen is crack i'm gonna show you how to replace this screen just turn on you can see screen is crack inside first we're gonna remove this sim card and now we're gonna remove this back cover you can see frame is bent so we're gonna use the screen with the frame one so it's gonna fix the problem whatever is banned is gonna fix the problem so we're gonna remove this back cover now just unclip it all of that then we're gonna slowly lift it up you can see here is the fingerprint ribbon you can there is no connection so we have to separate from the back cover the fingerprint flex so we are gonna separate it we separate the fingerprint flex now we're gonna remove this top panel remove this all screw this all screw are same This all the screw is star screw. We remove all the screw. Now we're gonna remove this back panel. Just lift it up, and you can see there is fingerprint flex connection. You're gonna separate it. Remove this fingerprint flex. Now you're gonna remove this battery connection. And there is a screen connection and here is the charging port flex and here is the volume button and power button flex connection now we're gonna remove this antenna line and there is one screw we have to remove it is hold the motherboard now we're gonna remove the back camera just remove this connection now we're gonna remove this motherboard separate the motherboard now you're gonna remove this back camera just use some alcohol under that do not put the alcohol on top of the camera just under that and slowly lift it up now you're gonna remove this air speaker use some alcohol on side and slowly lift it up remove this air speaker now you're gonna apply some heat behind the speaker and camera from a little bit far and now we're gonna remove this power button and body and flex use some alcohol and then the tweezer we're gonna lift it up slowly it's come out easily you can also apply heat to remove it and also you can use alcohol we are done on top side now you're gonna do bottom side we're gonna remove this all the screw all the screw are same this type of screw now you're gonna remove this back panel and now you're gonna remove this charging port connection And remove the charging port there is one screw we have to remove first then we're gonna remove the charging port with this tweezer we're gonna just lift it up slowly it's come out easily now you're gonna remove this vibration use some alcohol under that and with this tweezer we're gonna lift it up slowly and here is speaker Gonna have use alcohol on side so easy to lift it up and slowly you're gonna lift it up. We want to push so hard, yes, is slowly lifting up. 
and now we're gonna remove this battery use some alcohol and easy to remove it just with these tools lift it up a little bit then we're gonna use plastic tools yes now we're gonna use plastic tools and lift it up slowly we don't want to damage the battery but that if you use a steel blade it might be damaged so we're gonna use all this plastic is better and with this finger we're gonna lift it up all the way we're lifting up the battery nicely remove it and there is plastic we're gonna separate from frame and organize the plastic yeah just nicely organize it now we're gonna remove the charging port ribbon slowly lifting up yes we separate this ribbon and nothing left on all frame and here is the new screen to order from online i order from ebay now you're gonna install back everything whatever you remove it first we're gonna install this speaker air speaker play some glue so it's not going to move then we're gonna install this motherboard just press it down first stop side then just press it down and connect this screen connection and there is one screw we have to go back so it's hold the motherboard now we're gonna play back this back camera this is the main camera and now you're gonna bottom side we're gonna play back vibration same thing we're gonna apply some glue and put a back loud speaker and now we're gonna put a back charging port and there is one screw we have to put it back now you're gonna organize the antenna line and connect the antenna line And connect the antenna line now you're gonna put a back charging for the ribbon this main goes on top and sub goes on bottom charging for side you can use some tape glue tape under that but if you don't use it that's not a big deal you're gonna keep it like that and now you're gonna put back this back panel and put back all the screw and now you're gonna put back this power button and volume button flex previous glue was good so we don't need to put extra glue and now we're gonna install the battery first we're gonna use double side tape on both side and install the battery and connect this volume and power and flex when finally we're gonna connect this battery connection and now we're gonna connect this first fingerprint flex With this fingerprint flex, now you're gonna put it back plastic panel. You just press it down all side. So there is some lock is attached on the frame. And now you're gonna put it back this all screw. We are done with the all screw. Now you're gonna put it back this fingerprint bottom on the back cover. And 
we all done here now you're gonna put back this back cover and you can see with the frame one it speaks the band also so you don't have to worry about the band now is new frame on it is straight now put back the sim card and now you're gonna turn on the phone make sure touch is working it's turning on yes it's turning on and swipe up starts is working go to the emergency and typing one two three yeah touch is working fine and that's all right now let me know how you guys like it and thank you for watching